Hi, I'm Adam from Dabo Marine, and today I've got a really exciting listing to show you. It's a 2006 Sea Ray 38 Sundancer. I'm going to take you on a quick walkthrough, show you a few of the features. Well, right now we're standing on the swim platform. A few of the features back here are the stainless steel swim ladder, the transom rail. We've got some davits here to hold our inflatable tender along with the engine mount. Moving forward, heaps of storage as I work our way in. Hot and cold shower. And as you see, we've got a really generous family size cockpit here. Table can be removed, extra cushions inlaid there to make a nice big day bed. We've got our TV, we've got our rod holders if we want to take her fishing. We even got some little drink holders. As you move on through, wet bar here on port. We've got the tap, little esky underneath here, along with our 12 volt fridge. Moving forward up into the helm position, this Sea Ray is powered by twin Mercury's 8.1 litre petrol inboard engines, producing 420 horsepower. She'll comfortably cruise at 20 knots with a top speed probably around about 30, maybe a little bit over. Up on the helm, we've got the dual stick control, along with the Raymarine E120 chart plotter and all the instrumentation that you need to operate the boat, bilges, bilge blowers, lights, VHF controller. We've got a bow thruster on board for ease of maneuvering in and out of uh, tight spaces, stereo control, spotlights. And over on the starboard here, we've got the, the Mercruiser engine diagnostic system. From the helm position, the visibility is amazing. The way Sea Ray designs the boats, the boats of this era in particular, the bow slopes away. So even when you're accelerating up before you get on the plane, you've got really good visibility. We'll head up onto the foredeck and show you the space up there. For a 38 foot boat, this Sea Ray packs a lot of punch. On the expansive foredeck here, we've got a nice sunbed with retractable headrest, stainless steel rails, some little fender holders, and then moving right forward, We've got the anchor with its foot controls, also can be controlled from the helm, along with the spotlight. We've come down in the saloon of the boat, next to the galley here on the port side. There's a couple of features I'd like to point out. Firstly, is the volume we have down here in the boat. It's light, it's bright, it's expansive. We've got lots of headroom. Second of all, is the quality and condition of the bright work, the varnish, the couches, the carpets, the cushions, the Venetians, the curtains, they're all in top A1 condition. Galley over here on port, fully stocked. Fridge, freezer, microwave, heaps of storage, a deep set Corian sink with a mixer, two burner uh, electric stove there. Moving forward into the master cabin, have the toilet here on port, vacuum flush toilet, Nice size, door into the master as well there. With this Sea Ray 38, we have some privacy between the saloon and the master cabin. Up forward, we have a really nice size island bed, accessible both sides. A couple of hanging lockers either side, portholes, block out and mosquito net on the roof there. Along with a small LCD TV, and air conditioning controls. Shower is a separate unit over here onto starboard. Let's go take a look down the back of the boat. Accommodation wise, we've got two up forward in the master. The saloon couch folds down. We can sleep another two there. And then aft, we've got this nice little day configuration of a couch with DVD and flat screen TV. Couch inserts go in. We could comfortably sleep another two here. If you'd like any further details or to arrange a private inspection, please get in touch. Thanks for joining me on this walkthrough today. I'm Adam from Dalbora Marine. Bye for now.